Sagittarius what is going on what is going on with you guys baby it is scorpion red tarot I am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what is going on in your life what energies are surrounding you for the month of February happy happy Valentine's to all my babies because I know you guys should be clicking this video on Valentine's Day or a little bit thereafter so I hope you guys had a wonderful 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 Valentine's Day I hope you guys are in very high and luxurious loving spirits all right so thank you guys so much for clicking this video thank you guys so much for hitting that like share and that subscribe button shout out to all my OG shout out to all my newbies shout out to all my babies all over the world okay all right if there's anyone who would like to book a reading only thing you need to do is click the about tab all of my ways of communication booking and connection is all on the about tab I want to say shout out to my loves that sent me these books I I did get through the um, Amazon wish list. Thank you guys for all of the donations, the bookings, and the love. Um, the majority of the decks that you see here right now have been donated um, by you guys from the Amazon wish list, as well as this Mercury retrograde book. You know that's coming up on the seventeenth, and I also got the Moonology deck. Well, I have the Moonology deck, excuse me, but I have the Moonology book here for me to study and I've already started reading that. So again, thank you guys for just all of the love and um, I really enjoy reading. So um, I have another book here that y'all sent me as well. Um, I just really, really appreciate all of the love so um if there's anyone that wants to book with me like i said my pricing list is on the about tab you connect with me after you um purchase your reading you connect with me on instagram and most likely if i have the time to um read and do the reading that same day i'll do it that same day or you know within 24 to 48 hours thereafter so just make sure if you have any questions or concerns just send me a message on instagram if you don't have an instagram you can connect with me on email at the Mm, excuse me at scorpionreds at gmail.com um also if you don't have the instagram i don't want to use your instagram to do the video connection for the video reading you can use google hangouts um and the only thing we need to do is exchange our emails so again my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com that's scorpionreds at gmail.com any type of love donations any type of form of support if these videos resonate and you want to send some love to the page or want to help um by donating a deck or if you see a book or something on the wish list that you want to just send some love because these videos helped you in any type of way I greatly appreciate the donation so so very much I appreciate all of the love and I love this book right here so thank you guys again um, all of that information again it's on the about tab so Sagittarius let's see why you so mysterious baby let's see what is going on with you my dears mm, I love our fire signs so let's get into this let's say a quick prayer over the energy all right father God thank you so much for bringing us here for our Sagittarius thank you so much for giving us a clear view and a free open heart father God our heart is open we are ready we are rested and we are rejuvenated and ready to receive love in a very abundant in generous way we are ready to give and receive love on a very high level father god we thank you so much for showing us patience we thank you so much for showing us um how to just continue to just push forward and just be determined regardless of what bumps in the roads that might come our way just continue to keep our head up and just know that you know the future lies something very very precious you know ahead of us so uh, we thank you so much for keeping us on our path you know allowing us to you know be very careful along our footsteps and you know just know that our footsteps have been um, ordered for us and we thank you so much for all of the clarification and all of the abundance and the joy that we've been experiencing within 2020 and it's going to be way more way more to come yes God so Please give us guidance for today and every day. We pray. Amen. Let's get into this. Yes. So, Sagittarius. What's this? Playfulness. Playfulness, you guys. It says, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Playfulness. Yes, I like that. Give me some more. What else is going on? Oh. Ooh, passion. I love that. 
it says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present enjoy it playfulness and passion yes goodness y'all about to have a very very good uh valentine's what is this Close your eyes and tell yourself you deserve to feel joy. You can allow joy in your life regardless of your current circumstances you currently find yourself in. Close your eyes and tell yourself you deserve to feel this joy. Enjoy this playfulness. Enjoy this passion. Listen, no matter what we might be going through and facing in our life, man, as long as we wake up every day, listen, we are deserving of all of the blessings coming our way. You know what I'm saying? Because God gives us another day to start off over. You know? No matter what, where you're at right now, just be thankful. Because remember, there's always someone that's going through something a little bit harder than you. You know? And even though you might not have much or whatever your situation is, you might still be in a position to give what other people can't. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, you always be appreciative and just be patient and stay in good faith and close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy and love. I'm going to throw that in there and allow the joy into your heart, regardless of the current system circumstances you currently find yourself in. There's a magnetic and seductive. What is this? This is the Ace of Wands here. So it looks like there's a new beginning in your life. It looks like new seeds have been planted. They have sprouted. They have grown into a whole new destiny, a whole new dimension, a whole new path. All right. Looks like that fire has been sparked. A lot, a lot of ingenuity, a lot of creativity, um, a lot of imagination that's going on right now. I'm feeling a lot of passion and definitely open and ready to receive love. So, we got the Six of Cups here. We got the Six of Cups. So, this might be someone that you might have known from the past. Um, or this could just be a situation where... Um, it's like when you look at the reflection, when you look at your reflection in the mirror, I feel like you feel a great sense of love and joy and just like hope there. Um, I feel like whatever this is that you're experiencing right now, you're on the giving and receiving level. Whenever you look at your reflection, I feel like you get this little tingle, these little butterflies in your stomach. I, you're trying to like dress yourself up to look good, to feel good, to continue this level of magnetic attraction. Um, I feel if you have any like dirty laundry hanging around, you might be trying to clean up your environment to make sure that it's very, very nice. Having a potpourri, the flowers around. I see the two uh, doves there. And you see this little bolt here looks like with like a little candle or something it's the like you stay up late at night thinking about the last time you kissed the last time that you made love um you might be holding on to a pair of someone's socks that they left at your house the last time they were there or an old t-shirt or just something like you might be holding on to an old momentum something that still has the person's scent that still has the person's essence like you think about this person day in and day out you look at your pictures like y'all might exchange pictures as well um I see bracelets like you might have charm bracelets or just like bracelets on your arm that might have like uh, citrine I'm saying like citrine like clear quartz and like rose quartz and things like that and um maybe like a blue like a blue avatarine or lapis lazuli or something I'm just seeing like a lot of crystal bracelets and things like that and like you're starting to wear your hair out you're just very very I feel like a very feminine grace and beauty there the three of pentacles yes this might be someone that you might have met in a work environment this someone that um I, have you met this person at work or at school? You could have even met this person at church. Um, 
or you you could have met them y'all are in the kitchen though it's like y'all are in the kitchen i don't know if like y'all have to sneak and make love when like people are not looking or something like that or you guys like sneak off when you're at work or when you're doing something it's like <laughs> i'm really seeing like two people supposed to be studying and two people are supposed to be working or doing something or y'all uh uh working like um a kitchen or doing something and y'all like sneaking off in the corner and y'all like having like quick sex or something like that and like maybe people don't notice but i definitely feel like this might be someone that you are learning something with y'all could be learning studying cooking or some type of crafting or some type of arts or something like that this might give you that same butterfly feeling that you had when like you were a teenager like the last time I had this feeling and I did some crazy shit like that like I was in high school or something or <laughs> this might be someone that you know from high school or like I said you guys work with each other in some type of capacity um because it's like it's like a structured environment that I'm you guys are like taking breaks in between learning in a structured environment for y'all to have this like passionate connection and stuff and y'all do have a very playful and flirty like type of relationship with each other i feel like you guys work well with each other but there is the three of pentacles there so it's something okay the hangman the hangman this is in the reverse so there could be there could be a situation where I do feel like someone might be tied up and bound a little bit because you see how this lady has like the hand restraints on her arms and it's giving me where someone is having to like admire from a distance because this woman still has some type of hand restraints on her like she might be restricted like I said this might be people sneaking to get little moments of passion in um, I see this caterpillar here so it's basically telling me someone needs to let go or get their self down from being restricted and like really blossom and bloom and metamorph into this butterfly so that whatever this is that's here because there is definitely a passionate new beginning a new connection where you guys know each other from church you guys know each other from work you guys know each other from some type of class or the gym or something where it's reminding you of a very loving situation from the past where it was like very receptive it was very giving so whatever it is that might have had you bound you might be ready to give it up and just walk away because you're able to see things from an angle where it does work you know um with the three of pentacles that's somebody working it out working things together like receiving help receiving assistance willing to learn a different skill or a different path or a different way the ace of pentacles is in the reverse though the ace of pentacles is in the reverse and then you have the queen of pentacles in the reverse okay so what this is basically telling me is you have a new chance in love you definitely have a passionate new connection, but this might be someone that is experiencing some type of financial trouble uh, with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So that's why that close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve, you know, to feel joy. You deserve to feel and receive everything that you're getting right now. Um, this does feel like some type of past like connection like you guys might have known each other before i feel like maybe you might be looking back to see um through your old records or your old pictures and to see if y'all know each other or maybe if y'all went to school with each other or something like that it was just something that gives you butterflies that just makes you feel like 
this is home I'm supposed to be here like this is great this is new uh, you know like you're learning something new like how to give in a new way like in all type of places and, and be free and and you know and now you are thinking about like really letting go and not being restricted it's just this financial thing like I don't know if someone might have just lost their job or they might be um, in a place where they might be having to start all over financially um, and not able to it's like not able to invest in some type of way because with this Queen of Pentacles, it's like I'm trying to get myself together. I'm trying to get my money up. Like, I got to take care of my family. I got to take care of my house. I got to take care of my home. Um, like, you might be having someone here worshiping the ground you work on. But it's like I have other things going on in my life where I don't have time to stroke my ego and pay attention to this person that's literally bowing to my feet, willing to give me they're everything, you know, um, or maybe feeling unworthy because of your lack thereof of financial stability. Um, this could even be like a home stability or, or home wealth. Like maybe your house isn't as presentable as you want it to be. And maybe your outwards appearance might seem like you have a lot of money, but like, Maybe your house isn't as fancy as your outwards clothes. Maybe you might have had these clothes for a long time and you just know how to take care of it. You know, it's like, it's something like that where it's something that you're lacking on a material base. Where you feel like you might not be strong or stable enough to kind of give your focus and attention to this playful, passionate, loving situation. Or even if it's a situation where you do work with each other or you do have to deal with each other in some sort of type of way that has to directly do with your money. It's like my focus is really on this money like that because I, I, you know, I, it's, it's, it's. <sighs> Let's get into this here. No, hold on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Give me one more right here in this. This Ace of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse because it's like, like. Why do you feel like that? What is this? The Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay. So there you go. There you go. So, ooh, ooh. So I'm gonna put it to you like this. Either, okay, <laughs> okay. So they're saying like it's a third party relationship. That's why the three. Of, that's why the three of uh, Pentacles is there, because the three always represents. One, two, and a third, right? So the third could either be the environment, the structure, or something. But remember I said it was like people sneaking, trying to, and someone already being confined and figuring out that they might want to unhinge their self. But there's two queens here. There's two queens. And... Let me go back, okay? We'll get to that in a second. So, for the people that there's not a third party situation and you might just be going through a financial crunch, a financial bind, you might have just got this job or you might have just started this learning environment or whatever it is and you might not want to jeopardize whatever it is or even your focus and your time and attention because you're trying to get your money together because of some type of circumstances that you currently find yourself in that you're having to tell yourself that you still deserve all of this joy and this love that you're getting um it's basically saying that somewhere like your passion died within like something happened within your life where um your flame just kind of got exterminated you just 
I don't know if this is like some level of depression or something like you just kind of just been a little bit down um and not been feeling like getting up so it's like I, you might not have been feeling like getting up to go to work and might have t had to take a couple of uh what is it um mental health days because you just did not feel like getting up going to work did not feel like going to class did not feel like studying just like mm -mm. and this also could be with this queen of wands in the reverse you know the queen of wands in the reverse can be a little slutty if you will like not to you know offend nobody but this could be someone that i'm not looking for a commitment right now um so Like, this woman is not attached to anyone. Like, she might have sex with you, but I don't see her claiming you or trying to be in a loving, committed relationship. It's like, I got a lot of dudes groveling at my feet, you know. And this could be someone, like, talking to someone uh, based on whoever got the, the most money or something like that. I mean, and not looking for, like, a long-term, committed, affectionate situation you know like uh, uh, you got that you definitely got that you definitely got that you definitely got someone that could be sleeping with someone for money or kind of dating based off of the highest bidder and not really serious about no connection it's just all about sex and them focusing on their money it might not be like literal like you know, um, but I'm only talking to you based off of your worth, like what kind of car you drive, how nice your your house is and all of this stuff like that. And still then I might have like another friend that I talk to that might be just as nice as you and I might want the affection and the attention from you both. So I'm not committing to none of y'all, you know, like this is just playful, passionate, you know, um, you know, <laughs> there might be a third party situation. Like, I don't know. Like, this is, I don't know. So, like, this could be someone that, this could be someone that might have found someone new, but at the same time might be trying to work something out with someone else. But the person that they found new might be interesting, and you might be balancing it up against what you might currently be tied up in versus what's being offered to you. Enjoying it both. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. But, like, I'm really... And then I'm also getting that this could be... Yeah, this could be someone that has two different women. Could be dealing with the... um. Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, female. Um, could be someone that's the mother of their children. Um, they might be having some financial problems in their house at this point in time, and um, I just heard there might be some arguments. Someone just told someone to get out. Um, and honestly, this man is. This man, I feel like this man got his foot in between two different situations. And that's why it's kind of like not going anywhere. What's... Because we was good over here until we kind of got over here. Because I'm just like, why are you not feeling... Cause it, I mean it could definitely say no. It, could, it definitely goes back to the original story of... Someone that might have just lost their passion and just might have lost their interest in, like, they might have could be just going into some type of depression and they're coming out. And, like, now they're just getting their, this new beginning in their life. And whatever it was that made them go into this depression and this financial struggle or whatever, you're getting this energy again where it's just feeling like they're ready to come out and get and get over whatever they've been hung up on. Um, I feel like it might be some fear of kind of just letting go because they think about the stuff in the past, not trying to relate it to the future because it is different and they're having to learn 
too, I really feel like kind of let go of the past and allow the future to be what it is. Um, but you got to feel like you're deserving of it, even if your financial situation might be a little difficult right now. Um, you got to give it time to grow and through careful planning. And like this says, this is someone willing to work and do that careful planning and things. But it's you have to really get down and get yourself unhinged so this person is not having to look back and admire you from afar that they can really come into your life like that, regardless of your current situation. So you can get that fire ignited back in yourself. You understand what I'm saying what is this four cups so this is the four cups in the reverse so it's in in case you were feeling because um just like your lack of energy I feel like this is someone that might have been tired as well because maybe this is someone that works very very fucking hard you know um like you work very very hard you work very, very hard. I feel like this is someone that's been tired. And they see now that... Because I feel like this is someone that in the past, like, they got burnt out. Like, trying to work on a connection so bad that was trying to grow. And, and I feel like this has something to do with some type of family connection or some type of very, very long-term relationship. Because the Queen of Pentacles typically is a married woman or it's been very very long term connections and I, and this her turning into the queen of wands in the reverse I feel like it's because she might be scared to make that type of long term investment like that regardless though it feels good and it seems like it's working and new beginning and everything but she's finally starting to have that other approach that other view with it that's why this hangman is in the reverse like being able to really see things from a different angle i don't think i think that this person is going to give it a chance i don't think that they're going to reject it i feel like in a not in a past past but i feel like they have been just maybe having sex with people with not kind of an emotional attachment and not giving any type of time or investment. It might have been just playful, passionate sex. But they, this person is kind of coming unhinged a little bit and giving more of an emotional thought of letting someone actually enter their heart. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I feel like it's taking some time or... It's of a situation surrounding this decision that I feel like it's more important to this person other than love. And that's why they might just be just having sex, you know, but they're opening their mind to something. But uh, what is this? The temperance in the reverse. This person is struggling with their faith. You know, it's like. A little, it's like I see that it could be something good, but I'm struggling with my faith and I just don't believe. And I, again, I feel like it's someone that's tired and that's already struggling in regards to other aspects in their life. And it's like, I just don't know if I have the energy to try to put my hopes and faiths and things in regards to love you know what I'm saying I feel like this is someone that might just be kind of just playing around and they might just be playing around with someone at their job but mm -hmm. let's see but you are getting a new beginning a brand new start True love. It also it's like you guys might be getting like a new home. You guys ever might have moved back home with the six of with the six of cups. Like ever you guys are ever moved back home and finally got able to hang your clothes up and just have this sense of like family again. Um if you guys had to move back home, had to start all over and had to move back home and 
going back to school or you know learning a different way and like I said seeing things from a different angle so you can start all over again true love is in the air true love is in the air they said that this is a true love of a, of a lifetime let's see what is this they're telling you to don't retreat to don't run so like don't run don't run and don't ruin it. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve this. Like, <sighs> wedding. That this one is going to amount to wedding. Like, don't. I feel like you should give this one a chance, y'all. I don't know what happened where you lost your lack of faith. And it's like you're starting to open up your eyes and your heart and you're starting to see. You got give me some right here, please. Give me some. Have a heart to heart conversation with yourself in the mirror and really ask yourself, like, what do you truly want? Do you want to just be out here fucking and just, you know, wasting your time with people? Cause it seemed like you're making a conscious choice to, you know, have sex without Investing your time and your energy and your heart into it. It's like you don't have any faith. You see that things can be different. But at the same time, I feel like you have to close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel the joy. You can't allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. You need to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Like, don't nobody care about your financial situation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Alright? And if you're having some insecurities or some problems with your financial situation. And if you feel like that is a problem. Then maybe you need to communicate that. And have a heart to heart. You know, with yourself in the mirror first. And then maybe with this person if you feel comfortable. Flirty, give your relationship a chance and call in your soulmate. It's like this person doesn't feel flirty. Give, an, give your relationship a, a chance is in the reverse and calling in your soulmate. Like I told you, this is someone who is like let, lost their passion and lost their lust for like life and love and things like that. It's like they're not. It's something that happened in their past where... I feel like they're tired. They got burnt out. They just decided to just have playful, passionate, like, situations with people that don't really require a lot of giving of their self and giving of their energy and giving of their time and their emotions. It's like, this person doesn't want to do that. It's like they don't, they lost their faith in true love and passion and commitment but it looks like they have someone there where it's on the table but um they're telling you to don't retreat from this one the answer is no like don't retreat from this one wait the answer is no it says dry I feel like you are, and, 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 and please don't, please don't be offended, but I feel like you are kind of, you are kind of being dry. Because remember, it's the, it's the, it's like you are being emotionally dry. You are being, um, it says insensitive at times. Um, it's like you really do need to have an emotional heart to heart with yourself because it's like whatever it is that you feel about yourself like you that's your outward reflection to the world like that's why they're telling you to be more playful to be more passionate they're saying that you're dry right now you know what i'm saying like you need to get the spark back into your life because it's like you're oh damn it's like you're missing it. You're being given a fresh start. You know? You're begin you're you're being given a, a fresh start. Like I feel like the way that you're going about things right now, you just being dry, like you're not putting your 
your passion, your effort into stuff. Like, it's time for you to take a splash. It's time for you to wet in this shit up. You understand? It's time. You can't. Nothing can grow without water. Right here, there's no water. Like, you're not putting no finesse in it. You're not putting up. Put, like, that's not even who you truly are. It's like you lost your light somehow. The muse, you're being given the blank slate to be able to create, to paint, whatever it is that you want. Action. It's time for you to get back in action. You are a fire sign. You are an action sign. Do you understand? There was a, okay. There was a union. It says union, right? There was a union. That there was a lot of secrets. The moon represents secrets. There's a lot of things that I feel like possibly continuously come out about this past union. That make it hard for you to trust people. Because it's like you really want a commitment. You know. But because of the last union that you had. And all of the secrets. And all of the betrayal. And the hidden shit that you didn't know about um it changed the way that I, you hold hands with each other and that you commit yourself to people it changed the way that you commit and it's negatively mirroring itself in your current relationships do you see how this is the blurred image that this is you okay you are living in a negative blurred vision in a like a dark mirrored reality of that false connection that false union it's like it's creating a barrier for you to really grow and to allow new love to actually get to you like you've put up this barrier in your life and it's like there's so much communication coming to you and I feel like you need to take care of this barrier and remove this barrier and this moss and all of this stuff all around your heart where people can't even see your heart almost. Like I said, it's, it's dry. I feel like your communication is dry. Your, your, I don't know. It's like, what happened to you almost? It's like, it's time for you to take things off a of pause. Like you put your creativity, your joy, your all of that, it's like some bad union, some bad connection. It like stole the energy. It stole the life out of you. And it's time for you to come back, baby. And I don't know how you lost your faith. That's not even you, baby. That's not even you. Like, you're not even really trying to call in a soulmate or really give any type of connection a real chance. It's like you just lost your faith and you lost your hope. And... To the point where you just probably just playing around and you actually got a situation that is like a true love situation on the table and you need to approach it. What is it? The pensioner. So this is someone that is actually, I want to say like, like I say, this is show me the money show me the money season like this one is willing to show you the money the pensioner the rents are like this person is willing to pay you for your value for your value time like they understand how important that your time is and not only that that's the king of hearts right there that is the king of hearts right there so what that's basically telling me is like this is someone that is willing to really express their affections and their emotions to you and seriously like put that dedication in that time and because like they're willing to show you the amount of love in many ways. In many ways. Um, what is this? Reconciliation. Hold on. What is this on the floor? Reconciliation. So, this is the Five of Diamonds. The Five of Diamonds represents spiritual assistance. It represents spiritual assistance, like a high level of intelligence. You studying, you learning, and it's somebody that you, or that wants to reconnect with you, but it seems like you're coming to the conversation armored, prepared to protect yourself almost. It's like... 
I don't even necessarily feel like this is someone new. I mean, I don't feel like this is someone old trying to connect with you. I feel like maybe it's been, because this is the number 37 and the number 38. So what this is basically telling me here is like, maybe you might have been separated from someone for like a year because the number five represents changes from conflict and stuff remember this was a separation from a union so i feel like you might have had a separation where you had a year to think and had a year to self-evaluate and to change spiritually um that's that you know like to get spiritual help you know what i'm saying to get spiritual advice um higher learning higher education that's what that means and i feel like you're actually ready to reconnect and to reconcile your differences with whatever was going on in the past there might be someone um in the present that is willing to um invest in you and show you their intentions and give you their value time but uh, you're having careful communications and you're approaching it different um i feel like you're approaching it very smart this time not too eager and you are kind of keeping yourself armored and protected because you remember what happened in the past do you understand like as above so below this is someone that learned a lot from the past to help them understand their future and help them get current victory they go the five of clubs all right so you were using your intellect and your intelligence. So regardless of the people that are approaching you trying to buy your time at this current moment, I feel like you are taking very calculated approaches in how you are reconnecting yourself uh, with life in general. I don't it could be a reconciliation as well. It could be a reconciliation, but I feel like this is you reconciling your differences with whatever changes that happen in your life. And you're like calling in victory and success and it's literally coming down by the angels. Um, and especially if you guys did walk away from a job, this definitely uh, is a change of work environment with that five of clubs right there. So you might change your work environment. Um, that may later on bring a lot of victory and success for you. Or you have just um, changed the way that you started to work and deal with people where it just works out better for you here. What is this? The absence. Okay, so yeah, you might have changed your work environment or you might have just cut someone off and stuff. The Six of Diamonds represents someone not talking to someone, like no more communication. So um, there could have been someone that was trying to approach you with the pensioner and might have been sending you a, night, a lot of nice poems and sweet messages and things that were... You know, hoping to reconnect with you. But you remember everything that you learned from the past. You came armored. You're claiming victory over your life. You've completely changed your approach in the way that you deal with this person. And <laughs> that resulted in you not talking to someone. Either. Bro, inconsistency. You say, yeah, because there's too much inconsistency there. They go, they go another six. And the number six uh, and spades represents like the death card, like the ending of something. Like you cutting something out of your life because it's, you claim victory over your life. So you change the way that you deal with them. You change and you stop working with people the way that you used to because you learn from whatever in the past. And that's why you're coming to this situation armored to protect yourself like I don't give a fuck about all these sweet letters and shit like that. Um, I don't want your letters blocked, okay? Huh, <laughs> block. How about I continue to keep my absence right there where it's at? And uh you're inconsistent. So don't send me no flowers. Like I don't want your flowers. Um, like I don't want your flowers. And then you see. These butterflies, like this person, is metamorphosing. They are changing. They are changing. It's someone that came into y'all life where I feel like everything was on pause. 
you had lost your passion, you really weren't trying to call in your soulmate, you had kind of lost faith, you had kind of lost hope, you might have just been having sex with people, and I feel like someone came around and showed you a new beginning, showed you what real happiness, showed you what butterflies in your stomach feels like, you know, you have been dry, and you might have been rejecting a lot of people and telling them no and just having sex with them. But I feel like now you got your juice back. You got that wet, wet, hold on, wet, 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 dun, dun, dun. Just trying to change your life, okay? Dun, dun, dun. Just trying to change your life, okay? I am reloaded. Someone got that wet, wet back popping, baby. What is this? Thoughts. Thoughts. Someone got them thoughts of them love and that love and all that stuff popping back off. Yes, God. Someone got them thoughts popping back off in your heads. I feel like some thoughts that you have blocked off because this is in the reverse. So the seven of hearts represents like um it really represents a very loving and comfortable home environment. That's what the fuck it is. This has something to do with y'all's home environment. I don't know if there's like some instability in regards to your home environment right now. And that's why you guys are feeling like you don't feel comfortable to invite love in. And you might just be dating right now and not taking nobody serious until you kind of get your shit together because with all that money being in the reverse here and again what is this yeah this has something look thoughts and look at her face you see how sad she looks it's like and for that to be in the reverse it's it's like i how can i focus on all of these thoughts of love when I would really love more than anything to have a more safe, secure, and loving and comfortable home environment. Um, I just want a second chance of life. That's honestly what the four, I mean, the seven of hearts means. It means a second chance. It's something going on in their life where it's that they feel like their blessings are on pause and they're struggling to get a second chance of life, but you got it. Like this Ace of Wands, like you got a new chance of life. Look, the consultants, they go to Three of Diamonds again. Like you need to really focus on, you are, it's like, like this is spiritual connection. Like your consultant and who you are connecting with spiritually, they hear you like God hear you. You know, I don't know if someone is like going back to church or someone is like refocusing and recentering their spiritual connection because if someone lost some hope, someone lost faith, it's like you need to consult God and bring God and bring your spiritual advisor and bring your teacher and bring your, your, you know, bring some more spiritual structure into your life. Do you understand? So that you can see that you're being given a second chance. This is someone that is being given a chance second chance but it's it's look 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 and then it's saying the count the the country house but it was in the reverse it's okay so the two is someone lost their house in a divorce or breakup the two of hearts that represents like soulmates that represents new love and look then you got yeah they lost it in a fight in a quarrel and then the seven of spades represents like a tower moment, something that you didn't see coming, like a very, very unfortunate, fucked up situation that you didn't see coming. So someone lost their house in a fight, in a fight, in a quarrel. And it put this woman in a place where she was very angry and she has to work on her anger. And that's why she might be choosing to be secluded and alone right now it's like this person is having to work really hard on anger and then the number 10 yeah you have to okay confirmation exactly and and you got to remember the queen of wands in the reverse does represent an angry woman it does represent a promiscuous woman and it, it represents like someone that is like Using her beauty and all of her gifts and her creativity and her crafts and not using it 
not using it for the beautiful skill and abundant beautiful person that, that she truly is. It's like not using your gifts in the right way, you know? Um because it's like some type of anger, bitter bitter bitterness and resentment due to like kinda losing everything. And it's like you lost your spirit, you lost your passion, you lost your joy, you lost your happiness. There is this anger. Um there is this resentment. Um and that's what needs to be worked on. That's why you've been so dry, and you'll be given. You're being given a second chance. Literally, you're being given a second chance. A time to take action. A time to refocus your vision and paint your life and design it to be whatever it is that you want to be. But you gotta get out of that anger. You gotta get out of that fear of connection. You know, you're only hurting yourself. Truly, you gotta work on the anger. Anyway. I love you guys. Take this shit off pause. It's time to get back into business. Because one thing I know. Sagittarius ain't nothing to be fucked with. When they take that shit off pause. And they get that wet. 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 Hey. Du -du -du. Just trying to change your life. You better let that motherfucker come change your life. Girl. Yes. Anyway. I love you Saggy. Hit that like button. Peace.